Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. So far, 18 problems I've completed on valuation of shares. This is the last and final video where three problems I'm going to explain you 19, 20, 21. And that marks the end of the chapter valuation of shares. So if you have not watched the earlier videos, I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject advanced accounting new. Watch the earlier videos, be perfect about the concept. What do you mean by share? What do you mean by value of share? What are the methods of calculating the value of share? Remember, if you, if you watch casually, you cannot be able to get the command. Watch all the videos from beginning till end. Then only you will get the confidence on this topic of valuation of shares. So before starting the 19th problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take the screenshot of the points, then I'll explain every problem in detail. Now, see the 19th problem. <clears throat> Problem number 19, the share capital of XY Limited consists of 10,000 equity share of 100 each, rupees 50 paid and 2,500 8% cumulative preference shares of 100 each fully paid. So we have equity shares as well as preference shares. The balance sheet of XY Limited shows assets exclusive of goodwill, leaving goodwill. The value of other assets are 15 lakh, liabilities are 4 lakh. Reserves 3,50,000 and paid up capital 7,50,000. The profits of XY Limited for the previous 5 years were 1 lakh, 3 lakh, then only 5,000, then 2 lakh and 4 lakh 45,000. If you closely observe this 5 years profit, one abnormal profit is given 5,000. Because first year profit 1 lakh, second year profit 3 lakh, then third year profit is only 5,000. So while calculating average profit, we should not consider some abnormal profit. This 5000 is the abnormal profit, leave it. So remaining four years profits, we take the average. The assets and liabilities are accepted with balance sheet figures and there are no arrears of dividend on preferences, which in similar business yield a return of 6% under current market conditions. The other companies' preference shares are giving dividend at 6%, whereas our our company is giving dividend at 8%. It is given in the problem. Our present company is giving 8% giving dividend on preference. Whereas other companies preference dividend is 6%. The normal yield on capital employed in similar business is 10% and the goodwill is valued at 5 times the purchase price of super profit. So before calculating the value of share, first we need to calculate value of goodwill by applying super profit method. First, we calculate super profit, then we multiply by 5, we'll get the goodwill value. After taking into account the goodwill value, we calculate the intrinsic value. Assuming taxation at 50%, you are asked to value the preference shares and equity shares in XY limit. In this problem, we have to calculate what is the value of equity share as well as what is the value of preference shares. So first of all, we have to calculate what is the value of goodwill. Now, see carefully here, super profit, already in the previous chapter, valuation of goodwill, I have explained you in detail regarding how to calculate the value of goodwill by super profit method. Super profit means FMP minus NP, future maintainable profit minus normal profit, right? For calculating normal profit, we need capital employed. Always, while watching the video, my suggestion to the students, always keep a notebook, calculator, pen ready. And whenever I explain something new, immediately note it down. Maintain the running notes, then only you can be able to remember. Now, calculation of the value of goodwill. Assets are given 15 lakh, exclusive of goodwill. Leaving goodwill, the other assets 15 lakh. Outside liability, 4 lakh. So capital employed is 11 lakh. Normal profit is capital employed into NRR, normal rate of return. So 11 lakh into 10%, 1 lakh 10,000 normal profit. Now we need the average profit. We are taking the average of only 4 years. 1 year 5,000 profit, abnormal profit, leave it. The remaining 4 years average profit. 
it comes to 2,61,250. It is given in the problem that tax rate is 50%. Whatever profit the company earns, 50% taxes has to be paid. So less 50%. So FMP, future maintainable profit 1,30,625. We got FMP, we got NP. Now super profit is equal to FMP minus NP. So 136,25 minus 1,10,000, 20,625 is the super profit. Multiply by multiply the super profit by five years because it is given the problem. Goodwill is calculated at five years of purchase of super profit. Multiply by five. 133,125 is the goodwill. Now we proceed to calculate the value of intrinsic value of share. Calculation of intrinsic value of share. Now assets other than goodwill, leaving goodwill, the assets are 15 lakh. Now goodwill we have calculated 103,125. Total assets minus outside liability 4 lakh. So shareholders fund 12,3125. From this shareholders fund we deduct the preference share capital. Preference share capital 2,500 shares of rupees 100 each. 250,000. So equity shareholders fund is 9,53,125. And number of equity shares is given in the problem 10,000. So intrinsic value per share equity shareholders fund divided by number of equity shares 9,53,125 divided by 10,000 95.31. This is the intrinsic value per share. Right. Now value of preference shares. In this problem it is also asking you to calculate the value of preference shares. Now, rate of preference dividend. At what rate dividend is paid on preference share by this company? It is given 8%. Whereas the normal preference dividend declared by other companies, normal rate of dividend is 6%. So 8 by 6 into 100, 133.33 is the value of preference shares. That's it. So in this problem, I have calculated intrinsic value of equity share and the value of preference share. Now, next 20th problem. The balance sheet of Deepak Limited uh, as on 31st March 1998 was as under. So, here shareholders fund share capital 4 lakh, reserves and surplus 1 lakh 10,000, non current liability not there. Current liability trade payable 90,000, short term provision, provision for tax 40,000. Total 6 lakh 30,000. Asset side non current assets, fixed assets, tangible fixed assets 370, non current investment 70,000. Current assets are inventories, trade receivable, cash and bank. The total of the balance sheet is 6,30,000. Now notes are given, share capital 40,000 equity share of 100 each, 4 lakh. We don't have preference shares. Reserves and surplus, p and account 50,000, general reserve 50,000. Tangible assets are land and building 250 and machinery 120. Non-current investments are investment at a cost 70,000, market value is 60,000. Now additional information. Land and building and machinery are valued 2,40,000 and 95,000. This is the present value. So we should not take the balance sheet value. We should take the present value of land and building and machinery. Of the total debtors, 5,000 are bad, irrecoverable. The so total debtors are trade receivable 1 lakh. Debtors or trade receivable means same. So trade receivable 1 lakh. Bad debts are 5,000. So deduct bad debts, 95,000 only we should take. Goodwill is to be taken at 50,000. In this problem, goodwill is directly given. No need to calculate. The normal rate of dividend declared by such type of companies is 15%. The average rate of dividend declared and paid by this company is 20% on its paid up capital. Calculate the fair value of the equity share of the company. Again, a new point. Two methods we have applied intrinsic value and yield value but the third method is fair value fair value is the average of intrinsic value and yield value so calculate the intrinsic value calculate the yield value add up both and divided by two you will get the fair value of equity share that's what we have to calculate so first i'm going to calculate the intrinsic value value intrinsic value of equity share now, land and building 240 given, machinery 95,000. This land and building machinery, present value I am taking, I am not taking the balance sheet value. Apart from the investments, investments, the market value we should take, not the balance sheet value. Present value of investment in the market, it is 60,000. Debtors, trade receivable, out of 1,5,000 bad debts, 95,000. Stock, no change, 
whatever is given in the balance sheet inventory that I have taken bank balance same value and goodwill is given in the adjustment that goodwill 50,000 total of the assets 630,000 two outside liabilities are there that is trade payable and provision for taxation we can call it as trade payable or we can call it as creditors means same so total 1,30,000 liabilities deduct 630 minus 130 5 lakh rupees is the shareholders fund we don't have preferential capital if there are there is any preferential capital we would have deducted now there is no preferential capital the so shareholders fund is 5 lakh number of equity shares is given in the problem 4,000 intrinsic value amount available for equity shareholders divided by number of equity shares so 5 lakh divided by 4,000 125 is the intrinsic value now we need the yield value yield value means the rate of dividend paid by this company divided by the normal rate of dividend declared by other companies into paid up value per share so here average rate of dividend declared by this company is 20 percent given in the paragraph last additional information by this company 20 percent whereas other companies are paying 15 percent into paid up value per share is 100 so 20 by 15 into 100 133.33 this is the yield value so we got the intrinsic value we got the yield value add up both 125 plus 133.33 divided by 2 129.17 is the fair value of equity share that's it now last and final problem in this chapter 21st from the details of a limited find out the value of its equity share by fair value again just like the previous problem we have to calculate intrinsic value calculate yield value add up divide by 2 building and investment are now worth 525 and 6 lakh present value of building and investment these value we should take profit for the last three years have shown an increase of 75,000 and the prospects for the next year are equally good so every year we are earning profit 75,000 rupees increases there every year and this 75,000 is going to be increased in the next year also then it practices to transfer 25% of its annual profits to reserve out of the total profit 25% we are going to transfer to reserve normal rate of return expected 15% profit for the year ended 2002-2003 was 645 before transfer to reserve current year's profit is given next page uh, balance sheet is given share capital 7,50,000 reserves and surplus 9,90,000 non-current liability current liability trade payable credit off 72,000 total of the liability side 18,12,000 assets fixed assets tangible building 1,5,000 non-current investment 502,500 preliminary expenses 15,000 ignore this preliminary expenses is a fictitious asset imaginary asset not to be considered current assets 11,89,500 total share capital 8% preference shares of 100 is 150 and 6,000 equity share of 100 is 6 lakh so we have preference and also we have equity reserves and surplus profit and loss account 765 and reserves are 225 that's it this is the problem now calculation of intrinsic value building present value 5 lakh 25,000 investment present value 6 lakh and current assets balance sheet value 11 lakh 89 500 total of the assets 231400 outside liability bills payable 72000 deduct 224200 from this we deduct preference share capital previous problem preference share capital was not there that's why we not deducted now we have so deduct preference share capital 150 229200 this is the amount available for equity shareholders or equity shareholders fund number of equity shares 6000 given in the last line notes now intrinsic value is amount available or equity shareholders fund divided by number of equity shares so 20 lakh 92 500 divided by 6000 we get 348.75 this is the intrinsic value now i'm going to calculate the yield value current year profit is given that is 6 lakh 45000 and every year profit is going to be increased by 75000 in the last five years and prospects of future is also same that means whatever profit we have earned during the current year it will increase by 75,000 in the next year so current year profit 6,45,000 increase in profit 75,000 
So next year, we are going to earn a profit of 7,20,000. Out of which 25% should be transferred to reserve, given in the program. It's the policy of the company to transfer 25% of profit to reserve. 1,80,000 transfer to reserve. 5,40,000. From this, we have to pay preference dividend. Preference dividend rate is 8% and the capital, preference capital is 1,50,000. 8% of 1,50,000, 12,000. Deduct. So profit available for equity share was 5,28,000. First, we need expected rate of return. The formula for expected rate of return is profit available for equity shareholders divided by equity share capital into 100. The profit available is 5,28,000 and equity share capital is 6 lakh. So 5 lakh 28,000 divided by 6 lakh into 100, 88% is the expected rate of dividend, expected rate of return. Now yield value per equity share, expected rate of return ERR divided by normal rate of return NRR into paid up value per share. Already in every, most every problem we have done this one, this formula. So expected rate of return 88%. Normal rate of return is given in the problem. Always it will be given 15%. So 88 by 15 into 100, 586.67. This is the yield value. So we got the intrinsic value 348.75, yield value 586.67. Easily we can find out the fair value. Intrinsic value plus yield value divided by 2. So 348.75 plus 586.67 divided by 2. 467.71 467.71 is the fair value of equity share that's all ha huh. so starting first few short questions i have explained then 21 main problems i have explained don't watch the video only once if you want the complete command if you want to learn then watch the video twice thrice definitely you can be able to to clear the examination, you don't have any, I mean, doubt in your mind. Easily you can solve all the problems on valuation of shares. So, inshallah, we'll start the next topic, next chapter in the next video. So, if you are satisfied, give a like to the video, share my channel, subscribe if you are not yet subscribed.